So for years we've had Christians in America dominate politics in terms of the money spent, the time, the energy, the votes that they could marshal, uh, and politicians are scared to death of crossing that significant voting block and significant lobby in America. Well, now there's a new uh, PAC in town, and it's actually an atheist PAC. It's uh, a little broader than that. It's uh, put together by the Center for Humanist uh, Activism, Activism, I should say, and they put together the Free Thought Equality Fun Pack. And that does sound like fun. So who do they represent? Well, they represent, uh, first of all, 20% of the public. Isn't that amazing? 20% of the public is unaffiliated with any religion. There's atheists in there, there's uh, agnostics in there, and there are people who simply say, I'm spiritual or not spiritual, but I don't prescribe to one religion. So that's a huge percentage of the population. Uh, how many people in Congress now admit to being in that group? kind of one. There are no official atheists, I'll get to that in a second, but Kristen Sinema is unaffiliated at least. She's a uh, congresswoman out of Arizona. So this new uh, atheist pack will represent atheists, humanists, and other free thinkers. So those are all different categories. Obviously they're in the category of people who don't believe in religion. They Obviously, atheists don't believe that there is a God. You can get into all the different distinctions. Now, one, one thing they share in common, undoubtedly, is that they are secular and they believe in secularism. To which I say, ironically, thank God. <laughs> I, I am deeply secular. I happen to be agnostic. And everybody calls themselves different things. But I think this has been a long time coming. It's about damn time that we went and actually represented this huge chunk of the American population. Uh, and I, I love how the right wing like Bill O'Reilly uh, sneer derisively at people who call themselves secular humanists. He's like, secular humanist believes that the church and state shouldn't mix. <laughs> Obviously it should, look at how well it's working in Saudi Arabia. And humanist? You like human beings? What's wrong with you? Well finally we have a PAC who says, yeah, yeah we like human beings. And we'd like for Congress to represent them. Revolutionary. So, uh, Maggie uh, Edge Ardienti uh, with Free Thought says, quote, Whether we recognize it or not, Americans are held captive to the will of the religious right leaders who remind us of our inferior position by using the power of government to enforce laws that put truth claims about religion in front of us at every turn. See, this is really important. Because this is not just a matter of them saying, hey, it's a Christian nation, uh, and so you have this theoretical debate. They certainly do that. And Nick O'Reilly's got his goofy war on Christmas and all that stuff. But it actually has political ramifications. Time after time, they try to pass laws and influence policies in that direction, whether it's silly things like putting under God in the Pledge of Allegiance, which they did back in 1954, and obviously Republicans and, and most of Congress supports now, or really important things like the religious right in this country saying that they do not want a pathway to peace, they do not want a two-state solution in the Middle East for Palestine and Israel, they literally say that. So that has deadly serious consequences and it's great to have logical people fighting back on that. Now to the issue of how little support they have in Congress, at least outwardly, even Kristen Sinema, who is the one person who is unaffiliated in Congress, refuses to say that she is an atheist. I mean, this is the last uh, you know, discrimination that apparently we have enormous trouble getting beyond. In fact, before I tell you about cinema, can I, let me tell you an amazing fact. Did you know that Barney Frank, who of course was the uh, House of Representatives uh, from Massachusetts, congressman, uh, served for an incredibly long time, just recently retired, just finally after retirement came out and said, oh, by the way, yes. Uh, I don't believe in religion. He admitted to being gay 25 years ago. He apparently thought at least his own voters in Massachusetts were ready to hear that he was gay in 1987 and could still represent them, but they weren't ready to hear that he didn't believe in God. Isn't that amazing? So even cinema, her folks say she uh, prefers a secular approach, that she does not consider herself a member of any faith community. And she's, quote, a student of all cultures in her community. I know they're politicians. 
And look, overall, this is a good thing. At least she's taking one step forward. But come on, come on, come on, come on, just say it. It's okay. Come out of the closet. And by the way, these groups believe that there's at least 27 members of Congress who are in the closet about being atheists or not believing in religion at all. And I think 27 is a very conservative number. You think those uh, so-called Christian right guys in Congress actually believe in their Bible? If they did, would they do any of the things that they've done? I don't think they even believe. In fact, I think they believe the least. All right. It turns out, though, there's a reason why politicians don't do this. Because only 54% of Americans say that they would vote for a well-qualified atheist presidential candidate. Apparently, nearly half the country is saying, I don't care how qualified he is, I'm not going to vote for an atheist under any circumstance. Atheists rank lower than gays or Muslims. Americans were more likely to vote for a well-qualified Muslim candidate for president than they were an atheist for president. That's amazing. And finally, 50% of Americans in a poll said that they believe atheism is threatening to them. <laughs> All right, well, I'll represent the community for uh, this umbrella for the moment being. And on behalf of all atheists and free thinkers, I say to you, boo! <laughs> what are you scared of? If there's no God, well, then you lose nothing. If there's a God, you win. Why are you scared of us? We're not saying you're going to go to hell. We're not threatening you with eternal damnation or torture. I guess you're scared that we're right and that we're coming.